Hey guys. How y'all doing? I'm, as usual, tired. What's new? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I'm very, very exhausted and jet lagged, but I will wait for more people to come in and then I'll catch up with chat and everything. Where is the color? There it is. I don't know how long I'll be live for. Just because, again, exhausted. I did take a two-hour nap earlier um, when I got home from work. And I set an alarm and everything. And I, when I woke up, I felt a little better. But... Um, yeah, I'm, again, <laughs> I'm so exhaust, exhausted, I can barely form sentences right now, but I was this close, this, <laughs> this close to not doing the stream, but then when I went and looked, I saw that people were, like, actually waiting for the stream, and I was like, uh, well, I would feel horrible if I ended this or canceled the stream. So here we are. <laughs> Hi, Shelby. Hi. I can't remember who. Violet. Hi, Laura. Hi, Madison. April. Hello. Um, yeah, it's crazy how much jet lag s sucks. <laughs> it sure sucks. <laughs> and apparently it can last a few days. Um which is fun. Um, I haven't felt this exhausted in a good while. So this is, this is something new for me, kind of. <laughs> oh my God, please. I, I'm not even multi-placing that well already. All right, you get on there. You get on there. The goal for this stream is to... Ch oh my god, that was so bad. I'm so glad I'm not zoomed in that far so you can't see how horribly I'm multi-placing right now. Um, the goal for this stream is just to do our best in terms of forming sentences properly and um, existing. I'm definitely not going to be able to finish this section, and that's fine. I don't know how long I'll stream for. I think I'll stream for like, I think I'll do like 30 minutes at least, and then I'll see how we're feeling. And by we, I mean me, how I am feeling. Yeah. Let's see. Hi, Kendra. Oh, Kendra, I forgot you are a member. Thank you so much. Cindy, Ania, Anaya? I think it's Anaya. That was it. Hi, Katie, Tiffany. Oh wait, I forgot to I forgot to ask answer the question. I'm so sorry. Give me one second. Okay. Um, Shelby, I don't know if you're still here, but can this bug get on my face? Uh, uh, her question was, will I ever do a live again live stream where I paint in my little color by numbers book? Yes, I want to do that. Um, yeah, I still have the paints and everything. Yeah, I just haven't. Um, been in the mood to do it but I will eventually do it but probably just I want to wait until I feel like doing it again but I have like so many um of those paint by numbers books so I'll probably like grab one and flip through the pages and knowing me I'll be like oh I want to do this one and then the inspiration will hit me again but yes I do want to and yeah, because I think that'd be a fun change of pace to do instead of just diamond painting all the time. Okay, let's see here. Um, Jesse. Ania. Sorry, Ania. There we go. Oh, I should I should have trusted my gut, but that's fine. Okay. Um Oh my god. From the oh my the jet lag in the UK that oh that sounds a lot worse than my jet lag. It's just 
a two hour difference for me. I don't know why it's affecting me so much, but it is. Oh my God. Yeah. It sucks. And like, it was, I don't know if, I know a couple of you guys like follow me on Instagram and like look at my Instagram stories. Um, I posted all about like my trip as it was happening. Um, the trip wasn't really good, like at all. Um, so at least I got time off of work, paid time off of work. That was great. Um, I got, I got food poisoning twice on the trip and on one of the days, not the same. Okay. On a different day, I had a migraine all day. So I was out of commission for that day. Um, yeah, it sucked. And I got food poisoning from my friend's stepmom's salsa that she had made. Um, I don't know when she made the salsa, but it was stored in jars. And what I didn't realize initially was that the jars were not refrigerated. So, um, the first time I ate it, I obviously ate it with chips because, you know, chips and salsa. I ate it, and the next day I was, let's just say, violently ill. Um, and my friend that I was with, he wasn't, he was not violently ill. He just had, like, a little bit of, um, I think his, I think his tummy hurt a little bit, but that was, like, it. And so he chalked his tummy down to hurting be, um, due to him. He ate, like, a lot of junk food um, that day. So he was like, yeah, I probably I just ate, like, garbage. So, like, that's probably why I'm in pain. Um, and so then I was like, okay, well, the I had Costco pizza. So maybe the grease from the Costco pizza made me sick. That's what I thought it was. So then a few days later, when I was finally able to eat food again, um, we had the chips and salsa again. So then the next day, I was even more violently ill, um, even worse than before. Um, and this time, my friend, um, he, I think he just had, like, really bad stomach issues. Um, but, yeah, we were both out of commission for the day. So that was fun. Um, great, great time. Um yeah, let me catch up on chat. I love love that. I love thinking about it and bringing back memories. <laughs> Hi, Angela. Oh, that's so fun, Shelby. Nice. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> Hi, Charlie. Thank you. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, I love colorful diamond paintings. I'm glad you guys are getting those. Yeah, it was miserable. Thank you, Angela. Um, so what happened? Let me pick the next color and then I will continue. Um, we'll do seven. Where is it? Right there. So, um, let me think. Oh, and then I don't know if this is the best part of it all, but um, I was flying, um, my friend and I both were flying, um, to and from Hawaii through Hawaiian airlines. Um, and what was I going to say? Um, I don't know if you guys are aware of the big island, which is where we, um, were at, but they have only two airports at the, on the island. The smaller one called, um, or yeah, the smaller one in the area called Kona, and then the larger one called Hilo. Um, and so my friend and I, we, we flew into um, Kona, the smaller airport, because um, if we had had our tickets, um, if we had wanted to buy tickets that took us to Hilo, um, then we would have had to pay an extra $200 for our tickets. So we were like, no, 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 we're going to fly to Kona. Um, but when, I think right after 
I did the 24 hour online check in when we were getting ready to leave to go back home. Um, after I did my online check in and everything where you pay um, to check your bag and everything, there was a major announcement that the Kona airport had to shut down because they realized there were cracks developing and further progressing in the runway where the planes take off and land. Because the runway is built on top of um, old pools of dried lava. So um, it was slowly cracking, and I guess they had procrastinated repairing or, or repaving the runway. And so finally it cracked to the point where they're like, oh, we can't use it anymore. So the airport shut down. Um, so we called Hawaiian Airlines to see if um, we could just have our flight changed to the other airport, the Hilo airport. Um, so when we called, um, we were on hold for like over an hour. And when we got on the phone with someone, um, they immediately were like, yes, we're going to move your um, flight to the other airport. You're just going to have to stay for another day. Okay, thank you. There's no other flights? No? Okay, cool. So we're trapped here for another day. Fantastic. Um, thank God we were staying at a front, like, my friend's dad's place and not at a hotel because they weren't even willing to um, like comp an extra night at a hotel. Um, so that would have sucked a lot. <laughs> so um, yeah, so we were trapped for another day and we didn't like do anything on the on her um, on the new last day. So I just took it easy. Because I was still not feeling well after being sick and not just not feeling good in general. But, um, oh, related to this kind of, but I had a friend who would, I'll, I'll catch up and chat in a little bit. Um, I had a friend who was watching um, the cats. I basically gave her the extra key to my apartment and so she could come and go. And she was fantastic. She would always give me updates on on how they were doing whenever she'd visit. And so she was visiting, um, like checking up on them every other day just because I had a huge bowl of food and water. Um, so they were good, but she also has cats. So she like genuinely understands the anxiety of leaving them alone in an apartment for a week. So um, the, the day before we were originally going to come home was – going to be her last time visiting the apartment so when she visited she um like texted me um saying hey I just checked on them for the you know for the last time since you're coming home tomorrow she and she's asked do you want me to leave um the key um like under your front doormat um that way it's easier for you to to get um thank god I said, hmm, mm, no, can you hold on to the key and I'll come get it from you um, later next time I see you, just in case. And I thought I was just being an anxious little thing, being like, ah, eh, something could happen and I'm not going to come home. Am I like a psychic? Because something was telling me, tell no, 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 she better hold on to that key just in case. And thank God. So she thankfully still had the key and so she was able to check on them um again one last time um yeah so that is part one of the escapade of getting home let me catch up now <laughs> my god let's see let's see hi natasha i think i said hi already i can't remember at this point I will, Charlie. Thank you. I just got to finish this diamond painting first. My eye is itchy. Thank you, Kendra. Yeah, it's all good. New volcano. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hi, Francesca. 
these are issues with flying back last weekend too but it was related to the arctic blast not cracks on a runaway oh no that still sucks delays are awful okay the flights home did not go smoothly by the way spoiler alert um so let me think um okay so on the day of our new flight at the new airport um the way that this was gonna play out was we had to fly from Hilo to Honolulu on one of the other Hawaiian islands and then we get on a layover flight um from um Honolulu back to LA next airport so two flights <laughs> the first flight since we're just transferring to another island it's just an hour-long flight like, like I think a 55 minute flight um something like that and then the second flight is like a six hour flight. Um, so um, <laughs> boarding for that flight starts at um, 1.20 p.m. No, 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 sorry. One, I think it was like, so the flight was at 1.30. And I think boarding started at one o'clock. I think that's what time it was supposed to start. I wish I still had the boarding pass because then they could remember. But it doesn't, you know, 30 minutes before the flight, um, we're supposed to start boarding. Um, 1.10 p.m. hits? The 10 minutes after we're supposed to start boarding, our plane is not even there yet. We don't have a plane. It's just not there. It's it's in the air. It's, it's not here. Um so I, I don't know what happened, but there was clearly a delay. Um, but, you know, delays happen. No big deal. The only issue is that um, there was only a one hour layover between this flight landing and my next flight um, leaving. So the anxiety was starting to just go up and up and up. Um, the plane did not um, land. Um, to, the plane didn't even arrive until 1.30, which is when we were supposed to leave. So, of course, the lovely people that had just landed in that plane, um, they, of course, took their sweet time getting off the plane. Um, and so once they were, like, as they were finishing getting those passengers off the plane, the, air, the um, airline people got on the overhead speakers and announced, okay, so clearly we are a little delayed so we're gonna ask that um you all try to board make the boarding process as smooth as possible we need to get on the get on the plane as fast as possible um so we all did our very best and like i could tell we could tell that like everyone was in a hurry and we all were very um like I don't know. What to, I don't know. We were just on a great pace. We were doing well. We were getting on the plane efficiently, effectively. No dilly dallying. We were doing it. Um, it was, I think, two. It was two p.m. by the time um, we we sat down and we were like, okay, we're good. We can leave. And boarding for my other flight started at two fifty p.m. So fifty minutes later is when I was supposed to start boarding the next flight. Um, and that flight took off at like 3.30 p.m. Um, so we get on the plane. And we're like, all right, we're good to go. And then um, they get on the um, overhead speaker on the plane. And they said, thank you all so much for expediting the boarding process. We really appreciate it. Unfortunately, we weren't fast enough. So we have to wait for air traffic control to give us the go ahead to take off um because there's no open space in the sky currently for us to take off so we have to sit on the tarmac for 15 more minutes i will pause and drink water and reminisce in this stressful situation <laughs> let's see here we made we you ended up on six Oh my God, Katie, I'm so sorry. Okay, so you get it. What symbol am I doing right now? I'm doing C, symbol C. Yeah, that's kind of hard to see, but haha, <laughs> that's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I'm so funny. Anyways, um, oh, hi, Bev. 
That's insane. Yeah. Yep, exactly. It, they have to do all that stuff before they can take off again. Hi, Misty. So we had to sit on the tarmac for another 15 minutes. And so fi- fi- finally, by the time we took off, um, I'm not in control of the situation, obviously. So I'm just like, there's nothing I can do at this point. But I decided to politely let a flight attendant on the flight know what my predicament was. And so I had, um, luckily, my both of my boarding passes, like, printed out so I could, like, show her and be like, okay, so you see this boarding pass? This is for my layover flight. She's like, oh, okay. So you need to catch a layover flight? I'm like, yes, I do. Um, I'm like, this? She's like, and she's like, what time does boarding start? I'm like, um, okay, so it's currently um, 2.15. Like, we just took off. Um, the, the boarding process starts at 2.50. She was like, pardon? I'm like, 2.50 p.m. And I like showing her like, see? And we stopped boarding at, uh, it looks like 3.20 p.m. And she was like, oh, okay. Um, I'll be right back. And she like goes to the front of the plane for a few minutes. And then she comes back and she's like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move you, like have you change seats so you can sit right behind first class, um, which was really nice of her. So we moved, she moved, uh, moved me. I got my stuff and got up and went to the front of the plane, sat next to this really sweet lady. And what they did, um, okay, so they got me seated. And then they asked me, like, what gate is your layover flight at? And I was like, A10. And so they pulled out a map of the terminal or of the airport that we were going to. And they let me take a photo of it. Um, with some markers showing here's where we're landing and here's where you need to go. Um, where I needed to go was like a 10 minute walk from where we were landing to my next gate. So basically by the time we landed, um, it was, let me think, what time was it? It was, 3.20 3.20 p.m. by the time we landed and the flight takes off at like scheduled at like 3.35 p.m. So when I tell you that I ran in Crocs, by the way, I ran in these. The sports mode were like was turned on these Crocs. I ran as fast as I could ever run with a backpack on and everything just hauling booty through the airport, ducking and weaving between people who did not have 10 minutes to get to their flight. It was so bad. I, yeah, so I ran. And as I'm like, probably like at the halfway mark to getting to that gate, I heard the overhead announcement announcing last minute calls for that flight, the flight that I was running to, sprinting to. And as I'm running and like picking up, trying to go as fast as possible, I heard um someone call out to me saying are you trying to gate get to gate a10 and i turn and it's this um airport employee in one of those um carts the the um in, the interior carts that they drive around and to like cart people around and i was like yes and so he's like get in and i'm like oh my gosh it's like a movie now and so i like flung um my bag into the cart and I like throw myself in and I'm like go 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 (laughs) and he starts zooming uh, to the air to the gate and he starts radioing 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 there we go I'm so tired he starts calling ahead to the gate telling them to just wait that there was someone coming um and thank god thanks to him I made it I don't think I would have made it if he weren't there um so he sped he sped us to the gate i hopped out and thankfully when i got there there were they were actually behind on the boarding process so um there were still people who um weren't even really late to their flight who were just um kind of taking their time getting on the plane um still in line at the gate so oh my god that guy saved my booty um yeah so I made it 
and it was that was a horrible stressful experience but we got through it we survived it was the six hour flight and i had never been happier to be on a six hour flight because um i had discovered that if i had missed that flight i would have had to have a let me think how long how long was it i think it would have been like a a seven hour layover waiting for the next flight because then it would have been an overnight flight where I would have taken off um, from Hawaii um, or from Oahu, sorry, at um, 10 p.m. And I would have arrived back in um, California at 6 a.m., which would have sucked. Would have sucked so much. <laughs> it's so bad. Bev, I love you. Hello. Do. Wait, last flight I took, they couldn't find the co-pilot? Oh my god. Hi, Alexis. They should they should have put me in first class. That would have been nice, but nope. <laughs> not the Crocsy Katie Crocs are good for a reason. Not not the Birkenstocks. Oh, that's that would have been smart, Violet. Oh yeah, that was another thing. As I was hi Jeffrey. Um, it is a Chuck Pinson. Um, what was I going to say? Fuck. Um, I'm so tired. Oh, I just swore. Whoops. Anyways. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say, but anyways, yeah, it was very stressful. Um, oh, the bag. Yeah. So ha like, I think halfway on my six hour flight, the second flight, I like started thinking to myself and I was like, okay, hmm, if I barely made it to um that this flight did my bag make it and so i asked a flight attendant i was like hi hypothetically um is there any remote chance that my bag made it after i explained the whole layover thing she was like i think I, she's like um i hope so i hope your bag made it and i'm like okay what what, what would happen <laughs> if like it wasn't on this plane um and she basically said that the bag would come on the next available flight to LA. And then um, depending on the circumstances as to why the bag didn't make it, they would either have me come back to the airport to get it, or if the airline was found at fault, which in this case, that would have been the case, um, they would have had the bag delivered to me. So Long story short, thankfully that was not necessary because my bag did make it. But yeah, talk about being stressed when I got off the flight and it's like midnight and you're standing at baggage claim and my bag was like the last bag that came off the, the flight. So that was incredibly stressful. But we got we got through it. We got through it. My bag made it. And I had a clothes to wear. <laughs> so we were good. So yeah, if I want to go on vacation again, um, we're, I'm either doing Disney World or a Disney cruise. I'm probably doing a Disney cruise because knock on wood, I don't think a Disney cruise could go as horribly as my other vacation did. Yeah. Be Wait, what did Bev say? Bev. Bev has the most controversial opinions. <laughs> I just looked at the building and made a wild guess with that. <laughs> See? Great guesses. Love that. No Katie. No blocking Bev. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah. Thank god I got through that. Um, and then today was day two of me being back at work and it's going it's going well so yeah I was just so happy to be home um also getting an uber from my place to the airport is like really expensive but I had never been to the LAX airport before so I didn't want to like risk having my car parked for over a week at that airport and like have it potentially be 
broken into or I just didn't know how safe it was to leave it there. So, yeah. There we go. Okay. There. <sighs> At least all the diamond paint. This diamond paint is so cute. I love it. I need to get more water in a second. No, I didn't jinx it. I knocked on wood gently, but I did. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Francesca, just, just force it in. Forcefully, forcefully jam it in there. I had, yeah, I had never been to LAX, Tiffany, so I didn't realize how, like, one, how huge it was, and two, like, how, like, elaborate and complex the whole layout is, but... Like, if when you're arriving um, in LAX, if you want to um, use a taxi or rideshare service, um, you have to get on a shuttle that takes you, like, miles away to a separate um, location for you to be picked up um, by Uber, Lyft, or taxi. It's, it's insane. Um, and... I don't know why, but like when the Uber when we that we took to get to the airport when we were first starting our trip, um, he, we had to we had to drive around. Um, we almost drove around the entirety of the drop off um, area twice because he was going like too fast and like kept missing where Hawaiian Airlines was, and so. He drove past where we where the Hawaiian Airlines drop off point was twice, and so eventually we just like told him like, hey, you know what? You can just drop us off here. It's fine. We'll just run to our terminal. Um, so I'm like, that was that was fun. But thankfully, our our second Uber ride, taking taking us away from the airport was um, a lot more of a smooth process. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, you should, Jeremy. I have it linked down below, um, if, it, if that makes it easier. It's it's really nice. Um, and it's a round drill Chuck Pinson kit, which is a nice change of pace compared to all of the square kits that um, – or square drill kits his um, pieces of art usually are. Oh, my God, Laura, right? See, both you and Jade um, don't fly <laughs> – I think I think that was like the most like stressful travel experience like ever and I had never thankfully never gone through anything like that before so now I totally get it when people are like oh my flight was delayed I, I get it <laughs> oh yeah I um I forgot I ended up not taking um taking this diamond painting with me on my trip I brought my um crochet stuff with me instead I'll show you guys hold on I'll get it in a second um one moment okay of course I have to get the cat hair off of this but I made a little strawberry cow and I finished it on the flight going to um Hawaii but I made a little cow and it's got little strawberry horns He's a little baby. I, I love the strawberries, though. They're so cute. But um, I, where are they? Oh, it's in my bag. I'll get it. But I, can I put you right here? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, it's going to stay there. I made um, or started to work on uh, another cow. Um, and I really like how this one's looking. Um, I think I'm actually doing a better job at this one than the um, other one. But this is the other cow. He's so cute. I think my stitches are getting better. But yeah, like side by side, I think you can like potentially see the difference. How do I hold this? There we go. I also used a smaller hook um, on this cow so that it would be um, a smaller um, plushie when it's done. But I love my little cow. What's a vacation without stress, right? 
No, you're not muted. Hi, Winter. Sorry, I'm like hopping around the chat. I couldn't relate to LAX. I'm not American. <laughs> Valid. Let's see. <gasps> Thank you. Exactly, Jeffrey. I'm the same exact way. Usually whenever, I haven't bought a diamond paint in a good long while, but whenever I do, I'm like, I'm not picky about what drill shape it is. I'm like, if the art is pretty, I will buy it. Let's see. <gasps> Thanks, Angela. Thanks. I know I love strawberries too. The pattern that I have um, for the cow plushie, um, I really like it because it's like a versatile pattern because um, they show you how to make um, a strawberry cow but also a blueberry cow and they have the pattern for um, if you want your plushie to be like a standing cow like this one or if you want it to be sitting down so yeah I eventually I need to get some blue yarn and I'll be able to do <laughs> I like that and then I'll be able to do um a variety of different types of cows. You didn't miss much, Ania. I'm just talking about my cows right now. <laughs> One moment, please. Berta. Hi, Berta. <laughs> yeah, Violet, I, I think my um, preference of drills changes I don't know how often it changes but it just changes whenever it feels like I guess uh, I love being deliriously tired but uh, the two-hour nap that I took earlier definitely helped a little bit and then I should hopefully sleep really well tonight I just have to make sure I can successfully kick the cats out of um out of the bedroom because whenever they hide under the bed and I can't get them out when I want to sleep, it is um, game over for me. Because they always love to pick the most random times at night when I'm trying to sleep to um, just run around and fight each other. I had the same problem when I went to visit my family in Puerto Rico. Oh, God, that sounds horrible. Oh, that's so fun, Violet. Oh, I'm glad you're loving working on your whip. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to get more water. I forgot. Yeah, this kit is fun. I need to figure out um, what I want my next um, project to be um, in terms of diamond painting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I want. I would like to do one. Oh, maybe I'll do. I want to do something like February, not February themed, but like. Well, I guess Valentine's Day is like. February themes and I do have violent Valentine Kitty from Distracted by Diamonds um I just hope that um if I decide to do that one that the quality of that kit is like a lot better than um the last one that I worked on so I'm gonna manifest good thoughts and say yeah it's gonna be great and there's gonna be no issues whatsoever <laughs> Oh, I'm glad, Lisa. Thank you. Yeah, I found diamond painting in 2020, and I'm so glad I did. No, Bev, I'm not coming to the retreat. Oh, did I? I missed a drill. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll get it later. Um, yeah, I'm not going to the retreat. Um... So I, I think I used up um, all of my vacation hours um, on this um, trip that I just came back from. 
Okay. Mm, got it. Oh, that's fun, Winter. Oh, yeah. This definitely was supposed to be, in my mind, ideally I would have liked to have finished it last month. <laughs> but it's fine. Better late than never. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's fun. Druid of Hampshire. You hate me? It's okay, Bev. Me too. <laughs> Bev, listen. Maybe I just didn't want to meet you. Did you think about that? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's do a green color. That sounds like fun. We'll do Y since that one is catching my eye more. Ooh, do I like crocheting or diamond painting more? Um, I don't know if I like one more than the other. Um, oh, this cow is so cute. Sorry, I keep, like, looking at it. Um, I really like diamond painting because it's super relaxing and you can, like, turn off your brain while working on it. Um, I like that. But, I, but I'm not a fan of how um, it typically isn't a craft that you can, like, easily take on the go with you. Um, especially, a, like, a larger diamond painting that's very hard to travel with or um, move around to and from places. But um, crocheting I like because I was able to easily work on it um, on a flight. Um, it's really easy to do once you learn the basic um, types of stitches and just how to get started in general. Um, and what else? But you do have to um, read a pattern and like count um, as you're working on it if you want the pattern to, um, or at least if you want your project to um, complete or be worked on correctly, quote unquote. Um, and so that can require a little bit of more thinking compared to um, diamond painting. But I will say that I liked working on this in Hawaii. That was really fun. So probably crocheting, but I haven't crocheted in a few days. Um, I think I'm going to go get it real quick, but the last thing I was working on was um, a strawberry for the second cow. Where is it? There it is. The strawberry is still... Oh, my back. Sorry. The strawberry is still attached to the yarn, and it still has my stitch marker in it. I think I still have to... Um, Sorry, just making sure the knot is still big. Um, I still have to clip, stuff the strawberry and close it up. Um, but here's the strawberry I'm working on. Yeah. So then I have to put the, stuff, put the stuffing in and then close up the strawberry. And then I'll work on the strawberry leaves. And then I have to do it again. And then, But then I can put the horn on this guy. But... It looks so cute with the little strawberry. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Blaze woke up from his nap and he's standing in the doorway to my bedroom just staring at me all squinty-eyed. You'll come to my house. Do it, honestly. Yeah. I know I was going to go, but I changed my mind. <laughs> everyone can you look this way there's a baby 
piggy. You can tell by how flat his ears are that he's very happy right now. Oh, Berta's going? Oh, that's fun. Berta, did you take my place? Or were you already going in the beginning? That's fun. Thank you, Kendra. Blaze, are you a baby? A little man? Little baby boy? All the cool peeps will be there. <laughs> Honestly, true. Blaze, poor baby. Why is he doing this? What? You're so dramatic. <laughs> My cat is special. Yeah, your baby. I love you. <laughs> I came back to pitiful blaze meow. <laughs> Listen. Oh, you already were going. Okay. The cat whisperer. His name is not Bev. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Listen, he just cries whenever I want him to, like, say hi to people. He knows that I'm talking to people. Yeah, and you don't like people. Look at him. Look at the little man. Little stinky boy. Okay. Now he's being limp. Get your baby. This is just a cat stream now. He's so dramatic. Look at him. He's just, like, limp and refusing to look where I want him to look. <laughs> Blaze, you okay? Or oh, sorry, Bev, you okay? What are you doing? You're so dramatic. Oh my god, you're like me. Oh, this poor snowball. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, Katie, you get to meet Berta. And you get to meet um, Bev, my cat. There you go. Just tuck him away. Hi, baby. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Jeez. Anyways, what time is it? Okay. Oh, I'm pretty good at the stream. I'm gonna, um, I think I'm actually gonna put down this drill and I'll just call it a night because your girl exhausted, but yeah, I got to... <laughs> He's slowly disappearing in my armpit. I'll rename myself to Blaze. Oh, perfect. I... He's slowly... He's gone. There he is. I don't... The way he just slowly disappeared out of sight. Amazing. Oh my god. I don't know if you heard that, but he just did the most passive aggressive meow ever. That was so unnecessary. That's kind of rude. Why are you like this? No don't don't blink at me. No no no. Unacceptable. I will not stand for this. Beth, you're awful. I forgot that I forgot Katie is going. <laughs> My God, y'all are wild. Jeez, Louise. All right, I lied. I'm finishing this green color, and then I'm calling it a night. Oh man. I need to check to see if um, Jade is alive because <laughs> I like I want to make sure she's doing OK, but she's really bad at responding to text sometimes. So I need to like be like, hello, are you alive? You know, what? I'll just drive to her house and just knock on the door and be like, ma'am, are you good? Are you still with us? Oh, thank you, Violet. Have a good night. Oh my god, Berta. Well, Beth's excited to see you. Oh, that'll be fun. I can't wait to see like all the photos and stuff that people take on that retreat. There and then. 
boop. And then I think this is the last one of this color. Yeah, it is. Sweet. Okay. It's coming along. I can't wait to sleep later. <laughs> oh my god. Bring her a Dr. Pepper. Oh my god. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I'm going to let you guys go cuz I'm delirious delir deliriously tired. There's 46 of you people in here. <laughs> Wow, 50. Who are you people? <laughs> now everyone's coming in as I'm ending. You know, that's fine. Anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your night, day, whenever you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I'll let you guys go. Have a good 